Load combinations are critical to determine the forces that you need to take to design the members and the connections. In that regard, load combinations as per Eurocode can be tricky as you need to have different combinations for different design and serviceability conditions. In this video, we deep dive into the load combinations that we need to have for different design requirement as per Eurocode. Load combinations are very well stated in EC0 or EN1990. The very first in the list is 610 which is an equilibrium combinations which is the most critical in regard to the stability of the building. Next in the list is 610A and 610B which are used to design the members connection and foundation of the structure. The next load combination for which you need to check your structure for is 611A which is in regard to the accidental case. Similarly for seismic actions you have 612A. Combinations that we just discussed are focusing upon strength. The next is on serviceability requirements which is 614B, 615B and 616B which are respectively for characteristic, frequent and quasi-static. Now let's discuss each of these load combinations in detail but before that we need to see how in Eurocode the load cases are represented. So the permanent action which is the self fade and or the dead load are shown as G and the variable actions which could be live load, snow load are shown as Q. The very first is 610 equilibrium combinations which is shown as 0.9 times dead load and 1 point times of the later load. Later load is the one which is destabilizing the building. So it could be from the wind load, seismic actions or any other earthquake load that we can expect to occur in the building. To arrive at the load combinations factors I have used the table below which is showing the 0.9 factor which is for uh, gamma G superior and similarly the gamma Q1 I have used which is for unfavorable case as 1.5. A typical example of 610 load combination will be 0.9 times dead load times 1.5 wind load which is one of the destabilizing action in the building. The next that we have is 610A and 610B that is used for strength design of foundations and members. The 610A is actually given as 1.35 times dead load and 610B is given as 1.15 times dead load or all the permanent action plus 1.5 times of the leading variable actions plus 1.5 times psi factors of other variable actions. To arrive at the load combination factors, I have used the table below. For 610A, the gamma G superior which is 1.35 is used. Similarly for 610B, gamma G superior time this epsilon factor which is 0.85 is used which will, thereby we get 1.15. Similarly for variable actions 1.5 factor along with the psi factors are used. A typical example of a 610A combination will be 1.35 times dead load. Similarly for 610B, 1.15 times dead load plus 1.5 live load plus 1.5 times 0.2 times no load as a live load leading. The next is accidental load combinations which is 611A and 612A. The 611A for any specific case can be given as 1 times dead load plus the main accompanying load plus the accidental actions. Similarly, the 612A can be given for any of the seismic actions that is there. Typical example of accidental load combination will be 1 times dead load plus 0.7 times live load plus 1 times the accidental action. Uh, the few example of accidental actions could be vehicular co collisions, explosion, earthquake. The last set of combinations that we have are SLS combinations which are checked for serviceability requirements which is namely 614B, 615B and 616B. The 614B is for characteristic serviceability requirements. The load taken are with all as one factor. Then similarly you have frequent load combinations which is 15B which has load combination as dead load plus 0.7 times live load and so on. And similarly you have the quasi permanent which is 616B. Deflection, crack width and other serviceability requirements for members need to be checked for these load combinations. So these are the load combinations that you need to have in regard to design any structure as per Eurocodes. Psi factor used for various load combinations like 611A, 610B can be taken from the table A1.1 as shown below. As you can see depending on the category of the load that we are having depending on the weight, what type of variable action it is the psi factors can be taken the psi naught vector psi 1 vector and psi 2 vectors are given namely let's say for category c congestion area load the psi 0 vector needs to be 0 0.7 psi 1 vector also needs to be 0 0.7 and the psi 2 vector can be 0 0.6 which can be taken in the respective load combinations to get the correct vector thank you for watching this was a small video on 
load commission as per your record if you find the con content helpful please subscribe to the channel and like the video